Hi everyone, Glory here. Welcome back to my channel. It has been a hot minute, but we're not gonna get into that because I know you came here today to learn about 10 creative ways to style an oversized white shirt, and I am here to serve. Ta -da -da. Tap bit of history about shirts and women's fashion. If you want to skip to look one, you could click the chapters down in the description below. So the white shirt and women's fashion didn't really exist until the last century. Coco Chanel did a lot to break down gender roles in fashion by creating more relaxing silhouettes and more comfortable clothes for women. In the 40s, stars like Katherine Hepburn and Lauren Bacall started wearing shirts in movies. Audrey Hepburn famously wore it in Roman Holiday. It's more cinched at the waist with a scarf on her neck. It isn't until the 70s and 80s that the shirt entered women's fashion in a more androgynous style. Patti Smith, Diane Keaton, Uma Thurman wearing it in Pulp Fiction, classic. But the oversized white shirt, it only really entered the lexicon of female fashion in the 90s where you can see Julia Roberts wearing it in Pretty Woman and Angelina Jolie wearing it in Mr. and Mrs. Smith with pretty much nothing underneath. And then since then, pretty much the oversized shirt has made its way into women's fashion and it's here to stay and it's not going anywhere. We see on so many celebrities, style leaders, on the runway and on the streets, and now you're gonna see it on me and then on you soon. All right, let's get to look one. This first look pairs this shirt with a pair of flared pants and heels. I like the contrast of this big loose silhouette with tight pants on the thigh but then flare at the bottom. You could go even more flare than this pair of pants. You can wear it with a cool clutch for a dinner occasion. I can totally see it happening there. So yes, an oversized white shirt with with flared pants, easy, effortless, classic. So the second look is kind of a white on white look. It's pairing the shirt with a white silk or satin midi skirt. I like the contrast of materials here because you have this white structured matte cotton material on top and then you have this shiny material at the bottom. I think if you're slim and tall, you can kind of get away with having the shirt just as is. But if you want a little bit more shape, then you could totally button up the middle two buttons of the shirt and then tie it at the bottom. So it accentuates your body shape a little bit more at the waist. I personally like to wear it the second way and then I like to also pair up this pair of St. Agni woven sandals. Again, it's a contrast in materials. We love a bit of contrast there and then just with a simple black purse. All right, look three is with dress pants and sandals. So at the beginning, I actually wore this look with heels, but I thought it was just a little intense. So I paired it down with these pair of black sandals. They are super comfortable and it actually makes the look just a little bit more laid back. And again, I just paired it with a black purse. You can also pair it with a black hobo. The belt, I was debating on it. I think I like it more without a belt. It just creates a softer look. The belt gives it a bit more polish and structure, but to me, I think it's a bit harsh actually so I would just pair those with no belt and have a simple pair of black leather sandals to go with it look four we're getting into more of a dressy casual look really depending on how you accessorize this look I'm going with cropped black denim I think it's a very easy outfit definitely depending on whether you style it with high heels or you're going with black sandals like the one from last look it could really change the vibe of the look so with heels you could go to a nice dinner and with sandals it's really a go on a coffee date with a friend kind of vibe look five i'm really into this it's with turtleneck i would suggest going with a sleeveless turtleneck because it might get too hot and then you could add a pair of flared black pants like in the first look or with a pair of bike shorts like i have here again depending on whether you're pairing it with heels or sneakers it could creates two completely different vibes. With heels, it's quite edgy and it's quite polished. Definitely could go on a dinner. With sneakers, still a killer look, just more chill. Okay, we're jumping into four looks that are a bit more casual. Look six, kind of touch on that in look five already, but with bike shorts, always a classic, super easy. Here you can see it without the turtleneck and it still works. This would be my chic in case I bump into anyone grocery shopping look. You pair with sneakers and you're totally good to go. Look seven, blue boyfriend jeans denim. So this look is quite laid back and I like to do a little French tuck. That means tucking the front of the shirt into your pants. The French tuck is a very easy way of adding some structure to the looks, but also giving the oversized shirt and its silhouette its time of day. I mean, you get the best of both worlds. Everyone's happy. This look, I'm adding some color. I like to pair it with some colored heels and it's just very fun, very casual, but also still quite polished. Look eight, ass outerwear. This is a great way of using the oversized shirt as just a throw on for your gym clothes.
toes or it just adds a little bit of polish if you're going straight from the gym to a brunch date and again i'm loving this as a chic grocery shopping look i think the chic grocery shopping look it is how i would describe my style actually all right, look nine, still on the casual vibe, but this, I'm loving this look these days. It's having a knit vest on top of this shirt. In this particular case, I'm putting a preppy look kind of vest on top of my shirt. You can totally have this vest as a neutral colored knit or a just a simple black knit. That look would totally work as well. With this vest here, I would have actually preferred it if the oversized shirt could peek out a little bit below if the vest is a little bit shorter, but the stars are not aligned that way today and we're just going to have it over the bottom of the shirt and I'm completely fine with it. The look is still thriving. Really chic coffee date look. I'm loving it. Look number 10. Okay, I'm just having fun with this at this point. So here I'm wearing a crop sweatshirt over an open oversized white shirt. That's a that's really hard to read. And it kind of works. The sweatshirt is a good texture and vibe contrast to the shirt. You know, the shirt still has this connotation of office of a bit more structure while the sweatshirt is home right and streetwear and i like pairing those two together it's so cool and if you pair a pair of dress pants underneath you have a little bit of peak from your waist and it's kind of sexy but also kind of smart and elegant i think it could totally work with a more colorful crop sweatshirt as well uh yeah if you want to try something different this is the look for you anyway so here are my 10 attempts at styling an oversized white shirt you can really get creative with this i could go on to 20. let me know which one is your favorite look but um I will leave you up to it. I hope this serves as a good inspiration. I hope this creates new ideas for you on how you could style. Let me know if you have tried anything else. I'm always up for new ideas for creative dressing. And yeah, stay tuned for more styling and product review videos. Bye.